Dog bite, not this friendly one. A gifted supervisor from Finland and some familiar players. Really awesome, uh, team. Yeah. The How are you doing? Sorry Thank for you. the bad practice. The second week in Tel Aviv, Georgia started with bright sunny weather. Only during the night it was cooling down to 7 degrees and the thermal insulation of the windows was questionable. After three nights without heating, we were thankful to have the heater on for the rest of our stay. Before the tournament, some work has been done at the club, the courts have been completely renovated and are in much better condition than in previous years. I heard this firsthand from the always friendly and helpful supervisor Harry Lahus. The clubhouse is still reduced to the bare essentials and to string a racket can take up to three days until finished. So you better be organized. The restroom before being finished was a social meeting point as well. A little jump to the Georgian cuisine which spoiled us. At least for me, trying Khachapuri was on the to-do list. I have to say definitely heavy stuff. <laughs> Hinkali I ate as well and it was a bit lighter. We found a lot of stray dogs in Tel Aviv and we had only good experiences with them. They are all chipped and usually not harmful. Unfortunately, the French player Denoli got bitten on the street by one dog. He had to go to the hospital for some stitches and couldn't play singles this week. Doubles he was able to play and he actually won it. Dominik Kilowski was bringing some food for the dogs, <laughs> therefore he was spared. As I mentioned before, the weather was mostly sunny this week. Only the wind could be quite strong one day or another. So, some matches were pure survival and the goal was just somehow to put the ball in the court. There is a bit of altitude here, but since the temperature didn't get that hot, it was barely noticeable. Just some clay was regularly blown away and the supervisor himself was showing some effort to maintain the quality. In general, being a supervisor on smaller tournaments needs obviously more skills outside of the office as well. Over the years, I got to know many players. Some of them I didn't see for quite a while. A little surprise to meet Temura Gabashvili with a career high of 43. He retired some time ago, but is still fit and a challenge to beat. Beside that, Andrei Cepelev from Russia or Nino Sedarusic from Croatia were taking part and it's always nice to meet them again. To see Sandro Metrevelli after his terrible car accident in 2016 back on court makes me really happy. So, how did Dennis and Sebastian do? We were hoping to improve our results after the first week with one ATP point for Sebastian in singles. Well, we actually copied the first week. Dennis lost in the last round of the qualification. Sebastian lost in the second round of the main draw in a roller coaster match to Wenger from Switzerland. Being down set 5 2 and 40 love on the opponent's serve, he came back, and in the third set he was up 5 2 to finally lose it 5 7. So, Sebastian made another ATP point in singles. Of course, we were aiming for more points here. But on the future tournaments you have to go far into the draw to improve your ranking. That didn't happen. We were raised to overthink everything in life in order to predict what is going to happen. On the tennis court you are only performing when everything happens with very little thinking. So go on and master that. Now it was time to say goodbye to De La Vie. I am leaving this place with good memories. We were heading home and the practice week is coming up. More from that in our next video. So I hope you enjoyed it. We definitely enjoyed Georgia and see you next week.